chair. Bikram Yoga is a sequence of 26 postures and two breathing exercises conducted in a room heated to 40 degrees and the classes last for 19 minutes. We don't need a survey to tell us that special needs carers and parents tend to suffer from back complaints. The team at Firefly do this on a regular basis from the Firefly community. But guess what? We did one anyway. 97% of respondents reported suffering from back pain. 60% have visited their doctor as a result of their back pain, but that means 40% of you haven't yet. Just over half of you are taking medication for your back pain, and less than 30% of you are receiving treatment for your back pain. And of course, you won't be surprised to hear that 93% of people who completed this survey reported that moving and handling your disabled child is what's caused your back pain. Before I start into any of these exercises, I would recommend that if you're suffering from any back pain that you do consult your medical practitioner. So today's vlog is going to focus on what yoga postures could help with your back pain. Even if you're new to yoga, these yoga postures are very simple. They only take a few minutes to do. Just make sure that you practice carefully, safely, and always take it slow, listening to your body. So, let's get started. We're going to start in the tabletop position. So just get your hands underneath your shoulders, so your shoulders aren't too far forward or far back. They're directly over your wrists. Grip your fingers into the floor to relieve a little bit of pressure from your wrists then. Then check that your knees are underneath your hips and your feet are directly behind your knees. So they're not turning in and they're not turning out. Knees and feet hip width distance apart. So we're just going to look forward, extending the spine there, keeping it nice and flat. And then slowly, we're going to lower the stomach and look up towards the ceiling. Going into cow pose, just feeling the tension in the back there, arching your back like a concave disc. Take a few breaths there. And then slowly start from tucking the tailbone under, rolling up the spine and arching your upper body. So you're getting a big curve of the spine here into cat pose. Take a few breaths here and then slowly reverse it again. Moving the tailbone, the lower spine and finally the head. So you can move with your breath here. If you wish, just take one inhale and then exhale into the cat pose, rounding up your spine, making sure to grip your fingers in to relieve the pressure on your wrists. Then slowly sit your bum back down to your heels as we move into half tortoise pose. So bring your knees and feet together and sit down on your heels. Bring your arms over your head and cross your thumbs. Stretching your arms up towards the ceiling and keeping your chin up a little bit. Suck your stomach in and just slowly go down. Just being mindful of the body and eventually letting your forehead and your little baby fingers touch the floor. Stretching forward and working your hips back down onto your heels. Your chin ever so slightly forward so your nose is just grazing the floor. Eyes open and taking slow, deep breaths with your body lying on your side. And slowly come out of that using your stomach to control the movement and relaxing your arms down by your side. The next posture is Cobra Pose. So we're just going to lie down on our stomach and get our hands underneath our shoulders. So they're quite close to our chest with our fingertips in line with the tops of our shoulders and our baby fingers in line with our deltoids. So just distribute the body weight all over your hands equally and the same. Your legs and feet are together. Contract your thighs and contract your glutes. So it's as if you have one leg. Take a deep breath, look up to the ceiling 
and then just lift your upper body up. So you're using your back strength here, not a lot of strength in the hands, but if you wish, you can push into the hands ever so slightly to try and get your elbows to a 90 degree angle. Really working into the lower spine here. Lifting up and looking up. So you're stretching the neck here as well. Lifting up and roll your shoulders down. So your trapezius muscles are visible. So you're stretching down with your elbows touching the body. Legs and feet tight. And then slowly coming back out. So the next posture we're going to do is a spine twist. So start with your left leg bent on the floor. So your knee is directly in front of you. If this is uncomfortable, you can keep your left leg up straight, or you can bend it underneath. Then put your right foot up and over, so your heel is touching with your knee, and your toes are pointing the same direction as your knee. Then place your right hand on your back to support your lower spine. Lift your left arm up into the air, and push your knee back with the help of that left elbow. Turn your wrist and just grab onto that knee. If you're unable to grab that knee, you can grab a towel or something that's underneath you to give you a little bit of support there. So lift up and look over that right shoulder, looking way over the shoulder, twisting the entire spine from top to bottom. Just even stretching the eyes as you look far over that shoulder, keeping that hand on the floor to support as your chest is lifted. And slowly reverse that as you swap your legs. So your right knee bent on the floor with your left foot up and over this time. Or again, you can have that right leg out in front of you. With your left leg, so your heels touching with your knee there. Left hand behind you. And right arm up and over. So you're pushing that knee back and grabbing that knee. We're grabbing whatever is available to you. And looking over that left shoulder this time. So just lift your chest and look over the shoulder, twisting the spine top to bottom. Lift up and twist. And slowly reversing out of that. We've got one final posture, which is a relaxation posture called child's pose. You can either keep your knees together, sitting down on your heels, or you can separate your knees if you wish. So just walk yourself slowly down, being mindful of the spine, and resting your forehead to the floor. So again, you can open your knees if you wish, as you stretch forward, just to rest your forehead to the floor. And you can bring your hands back down to your heels if that's uncomfortable for you. And if you want, you can just slowly rock back and forth, just being mindful of the breath, of the spine. And you can even close your eyes here. And whenever you feel ready, just slowly push yourself back up. And that's us done. So these are just five really simple little exercises that I would recommend that you put into your daily routine just to give you a little time for yourself and to be mindful of your body. All of these will strengthen and improve the flexibility of the spine. Thanks for joining me today for this episode of the Firefly vlog. Make sure to follow the Facebook page for any updates on the next vlog to follow. Thank you. Bye-bye.